So one of the things that I always enjoy about doing these uh, case reviews is this. If I can just grab the corner. If I can just grab the corner of this. How about this corner? I've already left fingerprints now. <laughs> so bear here with if that's the case, and I love ripping off that front plastic on a, uh, on any case. It's just absolutely fun. So today I am doing a review on a Fractal Design Define Mini. So the first thing with the outside of the case is just its real sleek look and design. Uh, fractal, I think this is a beautiful case. So the front is very nice and sleek, very flat, and then you can actually open it up, and then you have your inside. Well, you have the front panel inside. So uh, here you can actually have up to two 5.25 two, uh, drives. Uh, you can actually have a hot swap if you like, and they already have a bay for a hot swap. And then inside of this front panel area, uh, you got yourself a reset switch right over here. It's just nice and tiny so that you don't accidentally press it. So then behind these vents, if you just click, it actually pops out. And you got your Fractal Design fan right up front. So you can actually have up to two Fractal Design fans, but they only include one in the front. So, not bad. Also on the very front of this panel, uh, you got some sound dampening material here. So I kind of want to do some tests and see just how loud it is with the front panel closed versus the front panel open. And then on the very front top of the case, you got yourself your two IOs for um, audio. You got yourself a big power button, and then you got two USB 2.0s and one USB 3.0. And then another thing I want to give Fractal uh, kudos for is just how easy the whole front panel pops off if you need it to for whatever reason just reach your hand underneath the front you'll feel a little place you can put your fingers and pull forward a little pop you can then move it out of the way and work on whatever you need to work on also on the very top of this case you have a place to either put in a 120 or 140 millimeter fan and you have a spot to put another one, if you like, on the side. On the very back of this case, uh, you have another 120 millimeter fan in the very back here, a fractal fan at that. And then you got yourself these really nice PCIe covers, uh, white with a little bit of uh, ventilation put in. So I think this looks really nice, and especially if you want to do like a black and white build. Now, if you're not going to do a black and white build, that's perfectly fine. This is, again, the back of the case. So, again, scared me again. Okay, let's see if we can finish the back of this case. One of the things I like about the case is uh, what came with it. And what came with it was a fan speed controller. And this can control up to uh, three fans that are three pin fans. So I thought that was pretty nice. Uh, it does need a single Molex for power. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the inside of the case. So the first thing I notice when I take the case apart is that there is just this sound dampening. Uh, um, it's not quite a cloth, but there is some sound dampening material that is just really everywhere um, on the inside of the store. Even part of the, um, even where you can put a fan, there has been sound dampening material. So that's really nice. Uh, I had already gone ahead and put a system in here. Again, uh, Fractal, I, I am feeling pretty bad because your case is huge, and I don't have 
uh, tons of resources so I can't fill this case and actually show what all your case can do. So the first thing you're going to notice is the huge amount of space that's in here, as I just said and just mentioned. Uh, you can put a 120 to 140 millimeter fan on the top, uh, as I've already stated, on the side, and you can fit a 120, just a 120, on the bottom of this case here. Uh, as well, you can also include an extra 120 millimeter fan in the front, and then with uh, this case, one of the things that I really like is that there was plenty of space to put cables behind the motherboard. So, uh, bravo. So one of the things right off the bat that I had noticed when I had got this case uh, and opened it up was that the drive bays have these little rubber grommets and they need special screws in order to hold down your hard drives so that uh, it really helps with keeping vibrations down to a absolute minimum uh, so that you can just run the system silently. And if you decide that you are not going to throw in uh, hard drives on this top cage, you can do a thumb screw, another thumb screw, pull it on out, and voila, your fan can now breathe to the rest of the system. You can also take the cage, and if you don't want it facing this way and you want to face it this way, you can. You can just pop it right back in, and then these line up so that you can uh, put it right back down. It also looks as though there are screws that you can access from the bottom. Yes, there are screws that you can access from the bottom so that you can actually take out this um, drive mount right here. also looks as though it's screwed in the back. So, you can take these out. Uh, the only thing I noticed when I actually removed this one was that you want to make sure your cable management back here is done really well. Uh, let me see if I can actually show you a better look at that. So you just want to make sure you do your cable management pretty well uh, because when I took it out the first time there were just a bunch of cables sitting here. Uh, so I did some more cable management and now it's just kind of right here because I had a lot of uh, power supply cables that I'm not actually using. Oh, and the one thing that I will say about these uh, hard drive caddies is that you can put your standard hard drives or you can put in a uh, 2.5 uh, hard drive or solid state drive of your choice and choosing so you can technically have up to uh, six or seven uh, solid state or uh, 3.5 inch hard disk drives another thing I'll point out is they included a good amount of these uh, rubber grommets so that you can actually do some proper cable management uh, and have the cables come out and looking pretty good. So this sound dampening material, which is all over the side panel here, is also on the other side panel, uh, but one place that it is not, it is, it is not at the very uh, top of the case here. So that I found a little interesting. However, where you have a uh, extra 120 or 140 millimeter fan, there is a cover with a sound dampening material on it up there. Uh, so, with everything that this case has to offer, uh, I found that there is one thing that really um, drives me crazy. There's one thing that drives me crazy about this case. It's that. Do you see it? Let me show you. This. You know what this is? This is your USB 3.0 cable. So what's going on here is your USB port is going up. And then they have it so that the cable for the USB 3.0 port goes out and then has to go back up and then back in. This is going to make it really difficult to use the 5.25 drive to throw in a CD or DVD drive. It'll make it very difficult to use this chunk of space. Uh, so my only thing I really want to say to Fractal is, Fractal, you have a beautiful case, but you have this one design flaw, maybe you overlooked it, Maybe you've already tried to uh, conquer this and just haven't yet, but is there any way that you can just design it to point straight back so it goes directly into the case? Uh, and I feel bad just even moving it and trying to put it out of the way 
because now I'm watching my USB 3.0 port jiggle around, and I don't like that. Alright, uh, I guess that wraps up this video. Uh, I've had this case for quite a while now in my room, taking up space in my uh, office, and it is just... it's a beast. It's probably the biggest micro ATX case I've had uh, in my channel yet, and I really like it. I really like it, uh, but I am going to, just like all my other cases, I'm going to sell it off um, so that I can keep getting more cases. So, Fractal, I think you did a uh, great job with designing this case, making this case. Uh, I'm, I'm sad to let it go, so... I know <laughs> to let you go. Why? So guys, if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs down button. Leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts or feelings on this. Hey, do me a favor, check out any one of the other videos that I've uh, created or designed, and then go ahead and subscribe if you like these videos and want to see more. I gotta go. I think my friends are here.